Hello, everyone. Now I will show you how to configure your Huawei router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So the first thing that you will need to do is to turn on your router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into an outlet and the other into the router. When the router is turned on, the power indicator will be lit. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, plug the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem into a special internet port. This port is usually labeled as internet and usually it has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it snaps into place. Now you need to restore the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait until the indicator lights on the router start flashing. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will restart and the settings will go back to their original factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into one of the LAN ports. And plug the other end of the cable into your computer's Ethernet port. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But first, let me show you another way to connect the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up, your Wi-Fi network will be named after the router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the very beginning, you will see a form to enter the password. Usually, it is admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. So, first of all, right here you can choose the language for your router settings. I'll leave it as English, but you can set whichever language is most comfortable for you. Next, you need to check this little box to confirm your choice. Once you've done that, click the button that says, let's get started. On this page, you'll see an option to enable automatic updates for your router. Auto update is recommended because it makes sure you always have the most up-to-date features security patches, and a smoother overall experience. When this option is enabled, the router will automatically install available updates if it's not in use between 3 to 5 a.m. Personally, I don't want my router to update its firmware on its own, so I'll select the option Manually Install Updates. 
This way, I'll be able to decide exactly when I want to update. On the next page, you'll need to set your Wi-Fi network name and password. In this field, type in the name of your Wi-Fi network. And in this field, enter the password you'd like to use. You'll also see an option here to create a password for accessing your router settings panel. Type your password in this field, and then confirm it by typing it again in the second field. There's also a convenient option to use your Wi-Fi password as the router's admin password. If you'd like to do that, just check this box. Make sure that your password is between 8 and 32 characters long so that it meets the security requirements. Once you've filled everything in, click the next button. On the next page, you'll be asked to select your network mode. In most cases, you don't need to change anything here. Simply click the next button to continue. We're almost done with the setup now. At this stage, the router will restart and apply your new settings. Wait a couple of minutes for the router to fully reboot and start working again. If you are connected to the router via Wi-Fi, you'll now need to reconnect using the updated network name and password you just set. Once you've reconnected, click Next to continue. Now it's time to check if the internet is working. Just open your browser and try searching for something on Google. If you still don't have internet access, don't worry, you may just need to clone your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel using your new password. Go to the menu called Connect to Internet. From the drop-down menu, select PC MAC address, then click the Save button. After that, you'll need to restart your router. To do this, go to the Home menu. And click this button right here. Confirm your choice by clicking OK. Wait a couple of minutes while the router reboots and turns back on completely. Now check again if the internet is working, just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, at this point you'll need to contact your internet provider. They will be able to tell you exactly what type of connection your router should use and provide any additional settings that are required. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.